Europe to ourselves. We are all modern humans. But when we first arrived in this land, it was already a home for our cousins. here with the Hobza tribe. Just got to meet some of the men and women. And this is really like going back in time from the perspective of a reckoning Neanderthal like man. This has been going on for 50,000 years. I can tell you all the emotions I'm going through are twofold. One, there's a part of me that sits there and says, I've got not a space in my life. Anywhere do I have anything to complain or bitch about anywhere at all. Where, you know, Maslow and um, uh, hierarchy of needs kind of comes to mind here. It's, it's food, air, water, shelter are the primary things of the day. Maybe sex and procreation to keep the, the tribe going. But beyond that, you're really looking at how man existed 50, 60, 70, maybe 100,000 years ago. You know, you hear me talk about it. no one gets out of this life alive, right? Well, here it is, it's life and death. I mean, look right behind me, that's a couple of baboons, and then is uh, Impala, is out there. And it's not done as a trophy, it's done as a reminder that if they don't hunt, they don't eat. So they talk about being present. They truly work as a communal tribe, and you know, making their spears, working together. And ironically, they even smoke marijuana. How's that for interesting? And they do that as a way for to work together and have communications at the end of the night. And they hunt pretty much twice a day. They'll hunt in the evening when it's a little bit cooler, and of course the morning when it's a little bit cooler. And they're hunter-gatherers. So the men go out and hunt, and the women go out and gather food. Because if the men don't catch something that day, they've got to feed their families. And they run about uh, six or seven families together at a time to make it work. But they're nomadic. They move every two days, and they build the huts that you saw earlier. Really, they keep moving. So it's been already the first hour that we've been here. It's been super humbling. It's been greatly, greatly reminded that, you know, I have nothing to bitch about because I go to my refrigerator and, you know what, I have to make top ramen. These people are still doing what they've done for 50,000 years. They're truly working together, creating the same tools that we used to use as quote unquote Neanderthalic man are still the same ones today. Bow and arrow, spear, like a good old fashioned knife. The rest is just you and nature. And that's how you journey through life. So we're getting ready to go on the hunt right now with the tribe. That's them right over there. We're gonna go check this out. To see if we can actually bring some food home. Okay, we hunted, the only thing we found was my freaking cell phone. <laughs> Unbelievable. Rookie maneuver of the day.
Okay, so we're here at the Hops of Dry, waking up in the morning. I see sunrise coming over my shoulder. Rough night of sleep. Uh, we had a wicked windstorm. It's still kind of here. You can kind of hear it. We're up all night. Didn't sleep well. Got a rip roaring headache. But I only do this for a day. They do this every day, right? But one of the things that's interesting is they're up early. Everyone's bright, ready to go for a morning hunt because, again, no food, no eat. All right, so the tribe's getting ready to go for the morning hunt. They just called everybody together. They're doing the, the circles you see behind us. Discuss the direction we're going to go for, what they're looking for, and uh, they're waiting on us. So here we go. So we're getting ready to take off of the huts to drive here. We're one of the only people that get to go on the hunt with them ever and to spend the night. We're the first to ever do it. We may be the last. Just took our first shot. As you saw a moment ago. Well, he did. <laughs> we did. Amazing experience. Wouldn't miss it for the world. That's got him. Yeah. That's that's a clean hit. Okay, I think we finally got him. Took us about 40 minutes. The arrow's right through him. This is how these people have to survive too. Oh wow. It's so intense. Well, the tribe has offered us a piece of meat. It would be uh, massively disrespectful not to eat because this meat right here would beat some other family. So it'd be rude not we to. Before? We're going to. So here we go. What an absolute amazing life, tra life transforming experience. This tribe over here, who's probably taught us more far than we've ever taught them, have truly been around for 50,000 years. We got to go on a hunt with them. Uh, we got to trade knives with them. They're wearing the architect hat. We got to shoot arrows with them. We got to trade and get beautiful bracelets like this and bringing home gifts from the architects. This has been a life changing experience. I've gone through all kinds of emotions here, you know, from when on the hunt to when on the kill and to that experience. I, just, I don't even have the words for it. All I can tell you is, this is what it's supposed to be. This is architecting your life. This is architecting adventures. This is architecting dreams. 